Good morning, folks. This is Bill Wilkins at the Oak Creek Home Center uh, here in Abilene, Texas. We're going to have a fun tour this morning. We're going to go through and uh, take a look at our Houston Triple Wide, one of the larger floor plans that we present for customers. This is a four-bedroom, three-bath, a little bit over 2,500 square feet. Uh, the, the footprint on the home is about 2,700 square feet total. So you've got a lot of living space in the home. For those of you that are looking for a large home with plenty of space for a family, uh, some room to get around and also want to see some custom features, you're going to get a really nice look at some of the home uh, features that we have this morning. Uh, in addition, we have uh, a really special treat this morning. Uh, a couple of my customers have agreed to come with us on the tour and I'm going to ask their opinion on some of the things uh, that we're looking at. I just want to assure you these are not paid actors. Uh, they are really, uh, honest to goodness, true life customers. So as we get started this morning, I'm going to switch the camera around, uh, give you a look at the outside of the home, and let you kind of see some of the features that you can uh, have in a home that you purchase through the Oak Creek uh, dealership, uh, and uh, maybe even apply those into your own uh, floor plan and the things that you would like to see in your home. So here, let me turn this around. Okay, we're going to start here on the outside of the home. Perspective's a little tough because we're uh, up really close and this is such a large home. But one of the things you're going to notice right away is that we do a, a combination on the exterior of the home of lap siding uh, together with the bat strips. This is called board and bat. We have finished the exterior of the home on the bottom side with a really good looking stone presentation to finish out the bottom to give you more of a residential look. Uh, this home has a, a large dormer over the entryway. And then we've added an option for a recessed porch off the end. So it gives it a, a very, very residential look. I want to introduce to you, uh, when we get inside, I'll introduce to you our customers. It's a little noisy outside right now. So we're going to step up onto the porch and let you see what the presentation's like as you uh, approach the home. And when you come up, you're going to notice that we've got a very large recessed entry here. Uh, your front door is done with two side lights and the Texas Star door. You'll get a little bit better view of that from the inside. But I want to show you what this recessed porch is like here on the front. It's a great place to do some landscaping, some of the uh, accents with flower pots or different things. Or, you know, gosh, in the morning, like a beautiful morning like it is this morning where it's nice outside, it would be a great place to come out and have coffee in the morning, uh, catch the view. Ours is of the highway. But uh, anyway, you can get the idea. Another thing you'll see on this home, we've done the deluxe carriage lights on the exterior. Really sets off that entry so that you can uh, have a, a really cool presentation. We'll come through. There's your Texas Star door. We'll let this kind of adjust to the light. And when you come into the home, the home is going to present really, really nice. Uh, you've got a big open foyer here at the front that pans around through to the living room. Now that we're inside and it's a little bit quieter, I'm going to come around and introduce our co-presenters this morning. Uh, Andy and Amy are going to join us this morning and kind of walk through. Uh, so as we go through, uh, guys, I'm just going to ask you to walk on into the kitchen here. We're going to point out a few of the things. One of the things that you'll notice underneath the house, or underneath the bar right here, we've done a hand-laid stone. That stone is meant to complement the, uh, the big stone fireplace that's here in the corner. You've got the options of electric or wood-burning fireplaces. We've got several different fireplace options available. Guys, I want you to get a perspective on how nice and big this kitchen is. We've uh, accented the stove area with the rock over the top to give you a really good look. This particular home has the uh, stonework up there. We've done a stack slate behind the backsplash to allow you to have a really cool accent. 
Cabinets in the home are all done with wood cabinets. Uh, these are a, a decor option called coffee. One of the things I want to point out to you is that the cabinets are done with the European style hinges. Those hinges are actually concealed so you can see on the edge of the cabinets you've got a much cleaner look. And then all of our cabinets here at the Fort Worth factory are finished out on the interior so you don't open a cabinet door and look in and see the sheetrock behind it. You'll see also the crown moldings uh, over the top that are done in the cabinets. Now, this particular home is presented with a nine foot tall flat ceiling all the way through which is really unique. You'll also see uh, the drawers above the, the cabinet doors. Another really nice residential look that we provide called drawer over door. Amy's going to walk over here and uh, beside her you'll see the wall oven and the microwave um, that's built into a tower pantry. Beneath those is a big pot and pan drawer. You get several sets of those uh, that can really house a lot of uh, kitchen appliances. Uh, cabinets are big and tall. And then uh, we'll come back through that little doorway in just a minute. I'll kind of tell you about that. Uh, we've done the stainless steel appliance package. You've got three different stainless steel appliance packages. That door right here enters into a really nice pantry area. Uh, wood shelving already installed from the factory. I, and I'll tell you something I think is just incredible to me. If you can see even the interior of the closets are done with the crown moldings. That's just, that's just really cool. So uh, as we look at the homes, you know, when I'm looking at homes, I like to see the places that normally may not be finished. Uh, as we uh, look at those places, if the detail is done in the places that we don't look, you can count on it being done in the places that you do look. So, uh, guys, I just want to ask you what your impression of this kitchen is. Oh, this is beautiful. It's got all the cabinet space and the pantry, like you said. I love how the oven and the microwave are up on the wall over there. But the backsplash and where the stove is is just absolutely gorgeous. It's just the eye catcher when you walk in. Cool. All right, when you stand here in the kitchen, uh, a lot of folks really like open floor plans. And so as we stand here in the kitchen, you've got access into the primary living area where you can still have a conversation with your family. Uh, as you can tell, there's three of us standing here in the kitchen, and we are totally not crowded. Uh, Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> we're not bumping into each other at all. Your dining area is over here. I'll kind of walk through here. I want you to kind of get a, if you can, a perspective of how nice and open this dining area is. Uh, you'll see the windows above the windows, we call those transom windows or clear story windows, brings in a lot of extra light in here. Randy's walking over there by the atrium doors. Uh, the atrium doors are, are a really nice feature that go out onto a back deck or a porch so you can entertain outside. Um, again, just a real nice open floor plan coming around. That fireplace, I'm kind of give you a, an idea of that fireplace. It's a really well done fireplace. Now we've done a raised hearth uh, to elevate that hearth up off of the floor. A lot of folks up here where the aspen trees are featured there uh -huh. will put in a, a TV and use this as a dual purpose area for a uh, entertainment center. Now guys, I'm gonna ask if you would kind of come back through here and I'm gonna walk you into the utility room and uh, take a look at that laundry room. I know for some folks that's a, an important feature in a home, particularly for larger families. Uh, I want, if I can, I'm just trying to show people how yeah, big this dude is. It is huge. There's all kinds of room here. Yep. Anytime you've got an echo in a laundry room, you know you've got a pretty good sized laundry room. But we, we're set with full size washer and dryer. Another nice little touch that they've done, I'll kind of come over here. You'll notice your dryer vent down here on the floor is actually recessed back into the wall. That way your dryer isn't poking out further uh, than your washing machine. Uh, also in behind the paint cans, 
uh, that we've got in here for extra trim, they've done a pre-installed access door from the factory so that if you ever have to do do ever have to get into the plumbing you've got access without having to cut a hole through your wall uh, everything is put in. You'll notice the brass shutoff valves another really nice feature here in the home is we use all brass shutoff valves underneath the sinks behind the commodes uh, in the different areas. Here behind Amy on the uh, at the floor area I get my finger out here the, that is your uh, vent for the air return to the furnace. Uh, that also serves as a housing for your filters. So a lot of times in older homes you have to almost stand on your head to change your air filters. In this particular home uh, you don't have to do that at all. So we've got room for freezers, yeah. bench seats, all kinds of stuff in this home. Again the nine foot ceilings are adding a lot of volume into this house. I like the floor too. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, kind of give you a look at this floor. Uh, it's a it's a gorgeous application uh, of a wood plank looking floor. Uh, it's a single piece linoleum that we use to uh, protect the floor decking. Uh, if you have questions about the floor decking um, or any of the construction in the home while we're presenting, I've got people standing by to answer questions. This is one of the four bedrooms. Uh, that we have good sized bedroom. Uh, you've got your transom windows overhead, again your crown moldings. The light fixtures, I'm going to point out little things. The, the light fixtures are a, uh, a ceiling hugger light fixture. I don't know if any, has anybody out there ever had problems with bugs getting into your light fixtures? Um, that's something that I know that when we go to clean uh, at our home, that's an area that we've got to deal with. So those help eliminate that problem. Here we're coming back through and giving a nice look at that kitchen. And we're going to go ahead and go into... The thing I've noticed too is the, the vents are in the ceiling. They're not in the floors. Yes, yes, good point. You know. Your vents are all overhead, so it gives you... And you'll as you do the count on the vents, there's a lot of vents in here. Um, it aids in the efficiency of the home, uh, the equalizing of temperature throughout the house. So it makes your uh, air conditioning system not have to work so hard. And we're going to come back into what we call the kids' retreat. Uh, it's a super neat area. What we've done back here is we've created a, uh, a play area for the kids. It can be used as an office. And then on either side of that kids' area are two bedrooms. So you've got a bedroom back here. Again, your transom windows bringing in the light. Now this particular home is done with a decor of the, I want to show you this closet. That's a good walk-in closet for this bedroom. The wood rods uh, and wood shelving is part of the feature in this home. Again, you've, you can see the base trim is already installed. Uh, your crown moldings up in the closets are installed into places that normally just don't get that. Martha, I appreciate your comment about that laundry room. It is a nice <laughs> laundry room. Um, and I just noticed there's um, like smoke detectors and all. Yes, too, yeah. Which is a great feature. Yep. Great feature. A nice safety feature is that we've positioned the smoke detectors uh, in the homes outside of bedrooms and in critical areas. And a cool thing about these smoke detectors, not only are they battery operated, but they're also hardwired to one another so that if you have one smoke detector that activates in part of the house it will come back and it'll activate all of the smoke detectors in the home and be sure and alert everybody. Now this is a guest bathroom that is off of that kids play area. It's done with a single piece fiberglass tub shower combination uh, rather than having a three piece surround so it makes it very easy to take care of. The commode is an elongated commode, not the little round landing pad, so you get a little bit better uh, position uh, to take care of business. Again, another bedroom back here. And we're going to cruise on over. Yeah, the china sinks. Yeah, another, another nice feature. I like the way it's like two-toned instead of just brown on brown. It's got the white. Yeah, on the decor, what Randy's talking about is when you choose a home, you get to pick the edges on your countertops. You also get to pick the countertop surface itself. 
We've done a six inch tall ceramic tile backsplash in this home. Your sinks are the china sinks, not the plastics. So a lot, a lot of residential presentation for you on this home. We're going to come back up through uh, the kitchen area. Kind of show you these pendant lights that are down over the top of the bar to give you, or the island area actually, to give you more uh, lighting in your kitchen. And then we're going to cruise back here to one of my favorite features in the house, and that's your master suite. When you come back into that master suite, um, I don't know how many of you out there would like to have extra room in a master bedroom. Maybe an office, a nursery, uh, just a getaway place, some place where you can sit down in the morning and uh, wake up slow and easy. Well, this bedroom, I'll kind of pan around. Crazy how big it is. <laughs> there is so much room. It's like an extra room in your bedroom. Right. And then the, the, uh, I'll kind of turn around and give you a shot of that retreat as I approach the master bath. I want to have, have you get a good look at just how large this master suite really is. Wow. We've done the chase lounge over here. Uh, just a wonderful place to relax. If you need a place to retreat, a place to get back to and, and kind of quiet down in the evening, man, I'll tell you what, this is a room that you can relax in. This truly is a master suite. I like this is so wide, you got plenty of room here to walk. Yeah. In between the dresser. You could the have oversized furniture in this room and still have plenty of room. Yeah. Um, one thing I'm really liking about this house, too, is all the windows, all the natural light coming in. It is just absolutely beautiful, all the light that can come in because of the windows. It's just beautiful. Cool. Well, we, and that's, that's a really good point. The windows that we're using here are the Kenro dual thermal pane, low E argon windows. So even though you've got a lot of light coming into the house, you're not transferring all that heat. Uh, it's Again, it's an energy efficiency uh, aspect that we've added into the homes uh, to keep everything very affordable for you. And I'm going to spin around here, and we're going to look at a really pretty master bath. Oh, my goodness. I hear you've got a dual vanity with dual sinks, his and her sinks. So, guys, you're going to have to clean your own sink. <laughs> and there's lots of cabinet space in this bathroom, too. Lots of linen closet space all right here. Beautiful. The tub uh, here in the center of the, of the bathroom is a really neat feature. The way that it presents uh, kind of an oasis or island tub. Uh, you can put jets in the tub. I would like to mention that the tubs, the showers, the faucets, commodes, your plumbing, uh, sewer drain lines, water lines, all of those things are covered in your seven-year-long Oak Creek Home Guard protection plan. This home is equipped with a four-foot ceramic tile shower. Um, and this ceramic tile is true ceramic tile it's all hand laid at the factory. We've done an accent tone in here. Another thing I really like about this home is the height of the shower head. Um, I'm going to uh, uh, ask Randy, if you will, Randy, would you step in that shower? Because I want people to get a perspective of how tall that shower head is, just so uh, they can see. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to kneel down to take a shower, which is a really. I'm six foot. So. Six foot tall, it is still shooting over the top of his yeah. head. So that's really excellent. Uh, they've got a cutaway above the tub that brings in natural light. Um, we'll walk through this closet real quick. This is the source of that light. It's another transom window back here uh, in, your, uh, in your home. Somebody just commented that, uh, you know, we're, our location is right on a uh, very busy highway and while we're in in the home you really cannot hear the traffic that's outside uh, it's because of the construction of the home uh, the way that it's done now this closet walks all the way around walks through so you've got a lot of space in here you've got a privacy commode that's kind of tucked back around the corner uh, it's just it's so well thought out Bill, can I 
make the comment you bet. that Randy pointed out. Back here on the wall in the closet, there's another like hidden feature for the tub for the plumbing in case something. Yeah, happens. really good so, point. Um, you know, a lot of times I walk through the house and there's so many things to point out, it's hard to point them all out, but that's a good feature. You know, down here behind the tub that's on the outside of that wall, we want to give you access into your plumbing. Our plumbing is done with the PEX style plumbing. The PEX style plumbing has been proven to be one of the most durable uh, plumbing products uh, that you have in the industry today. It's used in, in many, many, many uh, custom built and site built homes. Okay, I want to do a, a little giveaway. I'm going to ask the guys in the office um, to uh, choose one of the folks that have made comments this morning. Uh, if you would, we're going to give away a $25 uh, gift card uh, to go to Starbucks. So, fellas, if you will pick one of those people and uh, give them a notice that they have picked up a gift card to Starbucks. When you come out of the bedroom, this is the view that is going to capture your eye. I'll walk up through this living room and we'll get close to wrapping this up. <clears throat> Thanks, Jennifer. I appreciate your comment. Uh, it is a really pretty home. Um, now, we've got this home as well as about... 15 others that we keep here on display. We're located at the 1210 North Clack here in Abilene. So we're going to be open today from, uh, obviously, from 9 a.m. all the way till 6 p.m. this evening. We'd love to have you come out and take a look at some of the homes and take a tour. Uh, I promise you we're a very low-key, low-pressure outfit we just want to show off our product and let you have an opportunity to choose one uh, that, that you really, really like. Uh, before I sign out, I do want to offer one more giveaway. One of the fellows in our office, uh, Brandon Ferran, you all might have seen him on uh, some of the Bellator uh, MMA fights. Uh, Brandon's an awesome fighter uh, and also a, a great fitness aficionado. And he has uh, offered to give a month's membership to uh, his gym and allow people to uh, get in shape for the, for the remainder of the summer. So, guys, if you'll pick one of those folks that have made a comment and uh, give away that membership for a month, that would be awesome. And if there's anything in particular that any of our viewers would like me to focus in on, uh, be happy to do that for you. Answer any questions about uh, financing, about uh, setup, about construction time, all of those things. We'll make one more walk through here through the kitchen. So as I said, this is a four-bedroom, three-bathroom house. Got another great feature about this mm -hmm. home is the textured walls and how all the corners are rounded. I mean, it looks like an actual home. residential brick and mortar home that's been built. I mean, you would not ever know that. I mean, the walls are beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's something I, I'm glad you point that out. A lot of times uh, folks don't uh, really understand the, the neat finishes that they do. They do a bullnose wrap corner on these walls. Now, I want you to see something here at home. If you can get an idea, Randy, put your hand up on that wall. I want you to see how thick that center wall is. That center wall is, is that thick because we do a true double wall construction here at your marriage line. Uh, all of the homes here produced out of the Fort Worth factory that are in our classic lineup use full 2 by 4 frame wall construction. 16 inches on center. If you, if you were to take the sheetrock off of this, this, by the way, is all half-inch sheetrock. If you took the sheetrock off of these walls, you would discover that there is not a single 2 by 3 in this home. All of your wall studs are done on a 16-inch on center. Here in the kitchen, uh, I'll show you a couple of different of the, of the cabinet options that are available. You can do either the sugar cabinets, which are located here on your island, 
We've used that as an accent to offset the uh, coffee colored cabinets. Again, the ceramic tile backsplashes. We changed the flooring out here in the kitchen with a 16 inch hand laid tile. All of these things are decor options that you have. Now, folks, we serve a very broad area for our client base. We can go anywhere from uh, anywhere in the state of Texas, uh, New Mexico, uh, and, and places in between. We'd really enjoy having you come down and visit with us today. I'm going to flip that camera back around. I want to thank you for joining us today on our tour of the Houston, the model 5512. You can see this home and other homes on our corporate website at www.oakcreekhomes.com. Our local website, Oak Creek Abilene, is also available, and there you'll be able to see all of the homes that we have uh, here in inventory. We do custom design. We'll help you with the uh, contracting work. If you have land that needs to have uh, work done as far as the utility installations, septic systems, uh, driveways, foundations, all of those things, we can accomplish that for you. We'll put everything into one package. So actually we, we ver try very hard to become a one-stop shop for you so that you can take care of all of your housing needs here all at one time. We have homes that are available anywhere from uh, 800 square feet up to a even a larger floor plan than this one that's about 3,400 square feet. Uh, everything in between. Prices are going to be starting in the mid-30s, and then depending upon the options that you choose and the things that you want in your home, we'll adjust that accordingly. So I just want to invite you to give a call. Our phone number here, the main number at the Oak Creek Home Center is 325-692-5755. Uh, mention that you saw this video online when you talked to one of your representatives and we'll be sure that you are awarded a $500 home decor gift card. Uh, it'll let you choose out some of these beautiful options that uh, we are offering to you uh, and be able to dress your home the way that you would like. So, again, this is Bill Wilkins at the Oak Creek Home Center in Abilene, 1210 North Clack. We'll be open today, hoping to serve you and give you a tour of some of our beautiful homes. If you have questions, please give us a call. 325-692-5755. Until next week, I will be signing out, and next week we'll bring you another presentation. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the great comments. I look forward to uh, handing out those gift certificates to the people that won today. Talk to you soon. Have a great weekend. And I do want to thank uh, Randy and Amy. You guys, uh, I'll flip that back around where we can say thank you. You guys were awesome. Thanks for walking through the house with me this morning. Uh, Randy and Amy are here this morning. We're going to try and finish out their home. Yeah. So. If you haven't been here to look at some of these homes, they're really, really amazing. Really. They're beautiful. Okay. Come down and see Bill. All right. <laughs> thank you, guys. All right. We're going to sign out. Bye-bye.